I'm immensely proud of what the Creative Climate Action Fund has achieved and in particular what has been achieved through the Linta Nefarga project. It has really helped to bring to life the realities of rising sea levels and has sparked conversation across the country in the last few months. Linta Nefarga is a collaborative project inspired by the stunning light installations of Finnish artists Timo Aho and Pekka Nitiverta. This art and science collaboration involves scientists from Trinity College and Maynooth University, the Climate Action Regional Offices and local authorities. I think it really provides a reality check to us all that is impossible to ignore. It is an art installation, but it's, uh, it's a collaboration with, with scientists. So we are, showing the, we are showing science by means of art. I think it's science and we use art to convey that message, but somehow the scientist community might lack. And I think there is a possibility that the art can actually sort of make an impact in a very poetic way. The key about this project is collaborative. We wanted to ensure that every single piece of information came from scientific backgrounds. Scientists from Trinity College Dublin and Maynooth University worked with local and global scientific data to calculate a line height for each site. So the line heights incorporate ground elevation at each location, historic storm surge data from a local storm, and then sea level rise projections from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change Report, AR6. So our locations and installations represent mid to high end uh, greenhouse gas emissions trajectories. So they're kind of looking at the more worst case scenarios. And a key message around this project is that we can work together to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions and lower the line. So Native Events does sustainable event production and sustainability consulting. Uh, we've been working with the likes of the Arts Council and Foch Island. And then um, you know, we also did a bit of design work for Lynch and Nefarga on um, modeling when there's going to be sun and when there isn't for the solar panels. We went on to figure out exactly how much energy the LED light strips were going to require and then we looked at the various options for renewable energies for those. It turned out although there isn't that much sun that regularly in Ireland it actually turned out to be the, the easiest option to go solar rather than micro wind or anything else. The local authority sector are delighted to be part of this very important project. Galway City Council, Wexford County Council, the Nira Rat Down Council and Fingal County Council have all played a very active part in the project with the creative team and with Creative Ireland to deliver this wonderful art installations across the country. As we know, the local authorities are on the front line of responding to the impacts of extreme weather events, which we also know from IPCC reports are to become more and more frequent. The Climate Action Plan 2021 from Government requires every local authority in the country to prepare a Climate Action Plan and our local authority staff are working on these right now. So as well as demonstrating how the sector will reduce emissions and adapt to the impacts of climate change, these plans aim to engage our citizens, our communities with projects just like Leeds and the Farragher. As well as the installations, there is a project website, there are interactive information boards, there have been talks, school workshops and exhibitions. Here at Goy City Museum, we're passionate about climate action. Climate change is going to the top of everyone's agenda globally and it's a great thing that we can all participate in the local climate plans, both as individuals and collectively. Níl tada níos tóchtí ar dáun agus ní nárth go curli chéile. Well, it's pretty interesting to see it that sea potentially can rise to this level. I mean, it's quite a dramatic, uh, impressive display. I work beside the sea, and uh, so there's considerable erosion. You can see the encroachment, and there's been some drastic storms in the last 10, 10 years. So there, there are definitely changes. In the time I've been living in Wexford, I do recall uh, this area becoming flooded on two separate occasions. So it's important for people to be have an awareness that climate change is likely to, to make those type of events more frequent. I live next to the sea and we've seen no end of erosion on our coast. Where I walk the dog on the beach, it's disappearing. When you hear the numbers, I think it's kind of hard to picture what that would actually look like in real life, but um, seeing it from, from here, like how high it is, like it's up to my waist. I mean, we can talk in numbers and meters and stuff, but when you see it visually here over the train line, 
over the part, over the tr cycle track, and here it's just it's very high, so it's very impactful. <laughs> it's quite frightening, almost that it could, within less than a hundred years, it could be up that high. So it's definitely something to think about. This is a future predicted line, but I, I do genuinely feel that we can lower the line. This is a future line. It doesn't have to be the future line. We need to collectively take action. Governments, industry across the globe, citizens across the globe need to take action uh, in, in order to, to reduce our emissions. But we also need to adapt to the impacts which we are currently experiencing and will continue to experiencing uh, on a changing climate.